If you want to have the ability to leave your addictions in the past and take back control of your life, fully gripping your future reality that you want to live in and have control of your thoughts day to day and your habits day to day, then this is the one method that you need. I'm saying like there's nobody else on the internet that has talked about this that I have found and it has given me more results than anything else that I have tried and it is beyond simple. You only need a few things to get started. But first I want to talk about like my successes with this method and I'll keep it brief so we can actually get to the method. But you know, like three years ago when I was 19 slash 20 years old, I was addicted to virtually everything you could be not not everything, but I was addicted to weed, nicotine, social media, porn, uh, and so forth. There are many other things that I was addicted to at that time, just being lazy as well. Like I was addicted to the lethargic state. And when I was originally trying to quit nicotine, I realized that I didn't have a real reason. I didn't have anything really pushing me and giving me that emotional charge to go through the withdrawals and get out the other side because like my body wasn't dying. Like I wasn't like on the floor, just like convulsing all the time. Like I was going throughout my day pretty normally, but you know, I felt a little bit more tired and I realized that it was the thing that was affecting me. But like I said, it wasn't killing me. So I didn't have a real sense of urgency to quit. And that's when a lot of people do quit is when they're lying on the hospital bed and they're like, Oh, yep. Nope. Can't wait. Like, can't do that anymore. I almost died. Like what I'm trying to say is you don't have to wait until you almost died to get that emotional charge to be able to go through that quitting experience. And so what I did is I went to one of my buddies, my best friend, and I told him, I was like, yo, I'm going to quit nicotine. And in two weeks time, that's how long it takes for it to get out of the system in two weeks time, you are going to drug test me. And if it comes up positive, you are going to show my parents the fact that I have been consuming nicotine. And that gave me that emotional charge because it showed me a reality that I do not want to live in. I did not want my parents to find out about my nicotine addiction. I didn't want them to know that I went down that path. And so it gave me an extra reason to quit. And so that's, that's the whole premise of this method is you need a stronger reason to quit. And the best way to create a reason for yourself, and this is the method is literally go to your best friend and be like, Hey, I want to quit this. And if you have a challenge in your mind, like I did go ahead and propose that challenge or go ahead and propose that, that caveat for, if you don't quit, excuse me, go ahead and propose that to him. But if you don't, if you can't think of something that you really don't want to live, then literally just tell them, if I don't do it, you can drug test me or you can do whatever it is to verify whether or not I have accomplished my goal. And I will do whatever you want me to do, whether that be a challenge, whether that be taking 10 shots with a 400 FPS airsoft rifle to the back shirtless, like do have them create something. And I guarantee you that whatever they create will be absolutely diabolical. Give them full free reign. And if you don't want to agree to the terms, then you have to agree to the terms because that is what is going to actually give you that emotional charge to go through the process. Don't come up with copes and be like, no, dude, like that's terrible, bro. You're giving yourself a cop out. Just do it. You're going to quit anyways, right? Like just do whatever they want you to do. And I promise you, like your best friend will come up with the most diabolical situation for you to go through if you do not quit and do what you said you were going to do. This is the whole method. Literally, you just need a friend and the willpower to go up to them and ask them to come up with some sort of punishment for not completing your goal. And this this honestly goes with everything else in life. Like anything else you want to do and have a hard time doing, you can apply this method too. I framed it in the way of addiction because this is a really strong way that you can get over addiction because they will create something that you don't want to live through. I came up with my own because I didn't want my family to realize that I had been going down the path of nicotine addiction. I didn't want to live that reality. I highly respect my parents. And so that really pushed me. It gave me the emotional charge. It gave me that fear that pushed me to actually quit. But you can apply this to literally anything in life. Right now, I'm on a challenge of posting pretty much every single day this month on YouTube. And, you know, in months prior, I was having a hard time finding the reason to do it because I wasn't getting any views. I mean, this one, I don't know how many views it's going to get, but I'm still posting because 
I had my friend create a challenge for me. And that was to take 10 shots to a shirtless back with a 400 FPS airsoft gun with 0.4 BBs. That is a lot of energy going into my skin. And it was going to be at pretty close range, but I'm, I'm going to complete this challenge because I don't want to get shot in the back that many times. That, that would suck. And every day after the third day of not posting, I gave myself three days where I didn't have to post. Every day thereafter is an, an additional 10 shots. So I created an emotional urge. I created that emotional push for me to, to do this challenge. It could literally be applied to anything, going to the gym, um, starting the business, literally anything you want. Just go to your friend and have them create a punishment for you if you do not accomplish your goal of quitting something, of starting something, of building that new habit. So reprogram your mind and take back control of your life.